let's take a look at employment discrimination and benefits. Some benefits, including life insurance, disability insurance, and health insurance are more expensive to provide for older workers. The Older Workers Benefit Protection Act, which amended the Age Discrimination and Employment Act, takes account of this fact. Employers are permitted to provide less extensive coverage for older workers so long as the amount spent to provide benefits to older workers is at least equal to the amount spent providing these benefits to other workers. The cost equalization principle applies only to welfare plans whose cost is age related and not to pension plans. Certain offsets or deductions from benefits received by older workers in exchange for other benefits are permitted. Employers that provide retiree health insurance can lawfully reduce or eliminate health benefits for retirees when they turn 65 and become eligible for Medicare coverage. Regarding pensions, plans can establish minimum ages for receipt of pension benefits and normal retirement ages. However, older workers must be allowed to participate in and continue accruing benefits under pension plans regardless of how old they are when they were first employed or whether their age now exceeds the normal retirement age under the plan. An employer violated the ADEA when it required its older employees to pay a larger percentage of their pay into retirement plans that were required of younger employees, even when the two were hired at the same time. Since employees were able to retire based on reaching a specified number of years of service, older employees were being charged more for the same retirement benefit than younger employees with the same length of service. Disabled persons have a particularly great need for health insurance. At the same time, this might provide some employers owing in concerns about the rising cost of health insurance with an incentive to discriminate against these individuals. Clearly, employers cannot refuse to hire or terminate disabled persons based on the assumption or even the fact that they are, on average, more expensive to insure. Basing employment decisions on disability is disparate treatment and violates the Americans with Disabilities Act. Employers are also prohibited from discriminating against an employee because that employee is associated with a disabled family member who might be a heavy user of health benefits. An employer also violates the ADA by refusing to provide health coverage to employees with disabilities if health coverage is provided to non-disabled employees. Thus, the ADA was violated when an employer charged group health plans to a new insurer refused to cover an employee who previously had cancer and currently had AIDS. Group health plans and the issues of health insurance coverage under group plans also must comply with the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act. This law requires that premiums and contribution amounts for groups must not be adjusted on the basis of genetic information. Additionally, group health plans and insurers cannot request employees or their family members to undergo genetic testing and are prohibited from collecting in any way genetic information about employees prior to enrollment and coverage. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability, or HIPAA Act, predicated the ACA by more than two decades and was an important but limited attempt at health insurance reform. HIPAA focused primarily on employer-sponsored group health plans. Two of HIPAA's most important provisions were its non-discrimination requirements and the limitations it placed on the use of pre-existing condition exclusions. Under HIPAA, group health plans are prohibited from denying eligibility for benefits or charging more for coverage based on any health factor. Health factor is defined broadly to include the health status, medical condition, claims experience, receipt of health care, medical history, genetic information, evidence of insurability, or disability of an employee or dependent. HIPAA also restricted the use of pre-existing condition exclusions, periods of time for which a health plan would not cover the treatment of conditions predating enrollment in the plan, but did not eliminate them altogether. The ACA incorporates and expands upon many of HIPAA's protections. Pre-existing condition exclusions are now prohibited for both individual and group health plans. 